I'm here with the Bissell Power Force Compact Upright Vacuum. I'm going to be doing a big mess test on this mess. The filter has a decent bit of dust on it, as you can see. This is just after a lot of cleaning I've been doing. So I'm not going to clean that. I'm going to see how long we can go. See how dirty this filter gets. Let's keep, let's go. Same mess from the other Bissell. Let's turn the bathroom light on. That's an extra light. Invisible agitation. full as you can see so let's uh, empty it so I'm going to put the bin right here and pop the top filters definitely gotten there a little bit more dirt on it bin emptied let's clean the cyclone It's pretty easy to clean this. You can see that's all that has to be done. One second, I need to reassemble the cyclone. Bear with me. That's two passes, like two vacuumings of the area. Again, let me put my phone down for a second and empty this bin. There's the cyclone. See, there was a lot of hair, dirt, and dust. There's that. You can see the filter is just packed. It's super dirty. Let's see what's gotten past the post motor or pre motor filter, excuse me. Here's where dirt goes into the vacuum. I'm going to wipe the finger in here. 
doesn't appear that anything has gotten past. Let's check the brush roll. Not that bad at all. It's really not. It looks just fine. A couple bits of hair, but after vacuuming all of that up, it's not bad at all. You see the vacuum has some dust on it from all from back running through that cloud. But that'll just easily be able to be wiped off. But that's a pretty good result. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed the Bissell Power Force Compact Upright Vacuum's Big Mess Test. And I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos.